Hello, welcome to the Margin Odd Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I am going to talk about how you can debloat Windows 11. This is a state of the art guide. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. To debloat Windows 11 and enhance its performance, you can utilize various methods, including scripts and tools designed specifically for this purpose. Now, here's the structured approach you can use the Win 11 debloat script, uh, back up your data. Before making any changes, ensure you back up important files and create a system restore point. Update app installer. Ensure the app installer is updated via the Microsoft Store. Run PowerShell as administrator. Search for PowerShell in the start menu. Right click and select run as administrator. Then you're going to want to execute the debloat script. Paste the following command into PowerShell to download and run the debloat script. Peter, please put that on the screen for the viewers so that they know exactly what to, um, you know, what to do, the exact code to run. So when prompted, enter one for the, you know, the default mode to remove host uh, or most bloatware. Confirm the changes, review the changes that will be made and, you know, press enter to confirm. Restart your PC after the process completes. Restart your computer to apply changes using the XD anti-spy tool. Okay, uh, but before I proceed, please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you like this video, if you appreciate the content so far, please hit that subscribe button and the like button. So download the XD anti-spy, get the tool from its GitHub page and extract it to a folder. Run the, you know, the XD anti-spy, launch the application and select settings to disable unwanted features like ads ads and telemetry. Uninstall unwanted apps. Use the debloater option in the tools menu to select and remove bloatware apps. Now, here are some general tips. Install only necessary apps. Regularly check installed applications and uninstall those you no longer need. Consider custom installations. If you, you know, if reinstalling Windows, uh, consider using a method that minimizes bloatware from the start, such as adjusting regional settings during installation. Stay informed, keep an eye on updates from tools like Win 11 Debloat or XD Anti-Spy for new features or improvements to the bloating processes. Now, following these steps I just talked about, uh, you can, you know, it can help you significantly improve uh, the performance of your Windows 11 installation by removing unnecessary applications and services that consume resources. Now, there are some risks, however, right? You're not just going to say, oh, I can just do this and then we're going to be good. No, not not entirely. Right. There are some risks. So debloating Windows 11 can pose several risks and potential issues. Uh, you have system instability, removing core components or services can lead to system crashes, boot failures, or other unexpected behavior. You have broken functionality, disabling or removing certain features may break dependent applications or system functions. For example, removing gaming related components could prevent game pass games from working properly. Update problems is another is another issue. Custom debloated versions may interfere with Windows update, preventing important security patches and feature updates. You have security vulnerabilities, disabling built in security features or removing critical components can leave your system more vulnerable to threats. And then, you know, you have performance issues, you know, uh, contrary to claims, aggressive debloating can sometimes lead to worse performance or introduce new problems. There's difficulty troubleshooting a heavily modified Windows installation can be challenging to diagnose and fix if issues arise. Okay, so keep that in mind. There's also malware risk, right, with the cybersecurity show. Some debloating scripts or tools from unverified sources may contain malicious code. You have the voided support. Microsoft may not provide support for heavily modified Windows installation. So instead of using aggressive debloating methods, safer alternatives include manually uninstalling unwanted apps through settings. That's one. Adjusting privacy settings within Windows. That's two. Uh, disabling unnecessary startup programs and services. So that's three. Okay. And four is performing a clean Windows installation and only install it, installing right needed software. So these approaches allow you to optimize your system without risking its stability and integrity. Okay. 
So remember that modern Windows systems are designed to manage manage right resources efficiently. To ex you know, so extensive deep loading often provides minimal benefits. What you know, while introducing significant risks. Now, if you're if you're like, mm, I'm not really too sure about Windows 11. I'm not sure there all are you know, th there's alternatives. Um, so. Uh, you know, you have, you know, Windows 11 is, you know, obviously Windows 11 deep load for optimizing and deep loading Windows 11, but they're also, you know, alternatives. You have the shut up 10 plus plus what a name that is, right? Shut up 10 plus plus, which is a free and proprietary privacy tool and system tweaker. It gives users full control over comfort functions and data sharing in windows 10 slash 11. There's the simple interface to decide how windows should respect your privacy. There's, you know, it's the most popular alternative to a bloaty nosy, which is another deep bloating tool. You have private Zilla, which is a free and open source privacy tool for windows. It integrates critical windows 10 privacy privacy settings and allows quick privacy checks against these settings. It marks active settings as configured to indicate protected privacy. And then we have privacy.sexy. Yeah, um, too sexy for the, ah, yeah, yeah, guys, there's actually a name that's, it's, it's privacy.sexy. It's a free and open source privacy tool for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. It enforces privacy and security best practices. It's popular across, uh, you know, it's a popular cross-platform alternative to this is Win 11. The main features is the customization. It allows users to customize various aspects of Windows 11's user interface and system settings. There's also the, the, uh, the debloating which helps remove unwanted pre-installed apps and features from Windows 11, reducing system bloat. You have optimization. It provides options to optimize Windows 11 configuration and performance. Now, there is a tutorial that offers an introduction to Windows 11 features, extending Microsoft's Get Started app, the package uh, management, which enables creation of custom install packages using Windows Package Manager. You have the automation, which allows application of automation capabilities based on PowerShell and community scripts. The key components are the Get Started, which provides an introduction to Windows 11 features, the Open Tweaks, which customizes obscure settings of Windows 11's user interface, replacing the old Power Toys Tweak U. You have the Pumped app, which removes unwanted features and pre-installed apps. You have packages, which allows you to create custom install packages. And then you have the Power UI, which applies automation capabilities. There are some extensions that come with this, right? which allows creation of custom tweaks, uh, the usage and, uh, you know, availability. This is when 11 is designed exclusively for windows 11 and should not be used for windows 10. It's available as a portable application requiring no installation. Users can download it directly from the GitHub, right? Or install it using package managers like scoop. Have you guys ever heard of scoop? So, Keep this in mind, while this is when 11 offers powerful customization options, users should exercise caution when making system changes. It's recommended uh, to create a system restore point before using such tools to ensure you can revert changes if needed. Now, you have manual methods, okay? Instead of using scripts, if you don't wanna use scripts, you can also manually uninstall unwanted apps through the settings. You can adjust privacy settings within Windows. You can disable unnecessary starter programs and services. You can perform a clean Windows installation and only install needed software when considering debloating tools. It's important to weigh the potential risks against the benefits. Some tools may be overly aggressive and could use system instability or break functionality. Always research thoroughly and back up your system before making significant changes. So that is what I have for you today. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Again, if you like this video, if you appreciate the content, if you feel like you've learned something new, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button and the notification bell so you are alerted when I upload new videos. Also, please let me know your opinion in the comment section below. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you on the next video.